for it. All right, so I'm gonna make another bottle right now because we're gonna make uh, the bottle labels. So I'll make this very quickly. Sp space bar uh, to go into this view, go into the front view, view, image plane, import image, uh, download. Hmm. My bottles here. Oh, let me find another bottle. Real quick. Okay, images, import image, Q, D, uh, all right, putting it on here. Ooh, it's low resolution. It's all good. Uh, take down this a bit. Poly modeling, let me get a cylinder. What is that uh, bottle called? This bottle right here? Yeah. Uh, Remy Martin, 1738. It look familiar? Or, or are you just trying to do the same one? <laughs> I'll do the same one. Oh, okay. Uh, space bar, space bar. Yes, yeah, something else. I had it once upon a time. All right, so I'm just going to do this again. Uh, go to um, 32 just to do it. Space bar, space bar. Um, go in here, get some vertexes. Scale this down. Press the R. Now I'm going to go get my faces. Remember, select. I'm basically selecting all these faces right here. Control deselecting these and let's do it control e for extrude uh, i'll just go fast about this g g g g g uh this plane still seems a bit bright to me so i'll just take it down like this do you get into wireframe mode again uh four Four wireframe, five is solid. Um, gotcha. So now I'm going to right click. And this is what you did earlier, right? Oh, no, wait. Uh, well, you did this. So when you double click on this edge, so I put in edge mode, double click on it. I'm going to press uh, R for scale, and I'm going to scale it down. Remember, if you scale it from this side, it looks correct, but it's not correct. Always scale it from the middle. So middle, double click, scale from the middle, double click. Uh, this bottom one, middle, double click. And I'll just scale this to here and I'll go grab this knife. Click, click, click. So you see we can extrude to get the edge or we can make our own edge with the knife. Right click. Double click. All right, I'll just put a couple more right here. Q quit. R.
Ooh, what happened there? I don't know what happened there, but it's fixed, so. Um, here, we'll click here, and let me grab those faces. So I'm just going to go to faces, select all of these right here, and then I'm going to press four to see through it. Control click, so I know I have the top. All right, space bar, space bar, uh, W. Yeah, I'll just bring up here, G, G, then we're done, R, R, okay, we're done with this. So now we're going to put uh, a label on it. So I'm going to go over here to uh, UV editing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the faces I want this label to be on. So I kind of want it to be as like orthographic as possible. So I want it to be, you know, so this will be the middle of my label. You see the grid line. So I'll do right here. Actually, yeah, we can do this. So I'm trying to even be even with it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I can grab a couple of these on the bottom too. All right, so you see the faces I grabbed? Press four. Uh-oh, see those extra ones? That would be no good, but now I got rid of them. All right, so you see what it's selected right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to uh, this right here, which says UV and click on automatic. And when I did that, what it did was, is it took these faces and separated them uh, and it laid them out and stretched them out right over here. Now you see these extra pieces over here. We're gonna take these and we're gonna drag them down because these are. This is the rest of the bottle. This is where the label will be. Now one thing to notice: if I press this checkerboard right here, it has these. Uh, these right here are called UD, UV UDM tiles, UV tiles, I guess you can call them. So it's like, um, what's the number to this one? One zero zero one. And then if you put over here, 1002, 1003. So your texture goes in each one of these uh, areas on this grid. Now check this out. Even though we can see all this other area over here, this, 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 the only parts that matter is everything in this area over here, all right? But mainly this one right here. So I'm going to scale this down and check this out. What I'm doing right here is if we look at this, you see how the center of this, this is like what your image will be. So if there was a picture of anything right here, it would be like moving the picture. But the whole point of this is to look at this and to make these squares square. These squares are already square, so it's fine. But sometimes when you lay this out, they can look like that. And then you have to go in and like stretch them out. But really what you're doing is like smoothing them. And let's say you like that right there. And that's cool. Great. So we have this and we have these other pieces right here, which, which we're not going to really think about too much. Let's just put them over here. All right. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take this right here and I'm going to put it into Photoshop and I'm going to make a label and then I'm going to put it on this bottle. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little camera right here, camera icon, and it's going to say a file name. And what this is, is the texture we're going to paint on in Photoshop. So I'm going to click right here. I'm going to go to, yeah, I'll just put it on my desktop just because, and I'm going to name it um, Remy UV, all right? So I named that Remy UV. I'm going to change this to a, uh, let's do a Targa. 2048 is a good resolution. So if it doesn't say 2048, make it say 2048. Apply and close. Now I'm going to find the file that I saved. And just so I'm sure, I put it on my desktop. So I can see I put it on my desktop and named it Remy UV. All right. So now I'm going to go desktop, my Remy UV open with Photoshop. Hmm, I don't know why I don't see those lines. Hold on. Okay, I think I did something uh, wrong, but I think I know what I did. So I have to select the object. We'll right click object mode. And then click on this UV. So I'm just going to overwrite it, apply and close, overwrite. Now I'm going to open in Photoshop. Ah, stop share. Desktop. Let me UV, right click, open with Photoshop. Okay, so yeah, I had to put it in object mode. So now we see the uh, the tiles that were here before. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in uh, Remy Martin 1938 uh, label. Uh, no, the label's not is easy to find. So All right, found one. All right, so what I've done is I found a picture and now I'm going to drag it into the program, into Photoshop. So I just dragged it on there and now I'm just gonna scale this up, scaling this down. Hmm. It's gonna be strange because it's uh, it won't fill up the whole space. So so I'll do this. Um, it's kind of a hack, I guess. So since I have this selected, what I'm gonna also do is go to opacity just so I can see like this a little bit better. It's okay if things spill out of the side of this, but you definitely want it to fill it up. 
So if I have this right here, this all right so double click that um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna save this layer so i'm gonna well i'm gonna duplicate it so right click where's my duplicate duplicate layer only because what i'm gonna do is here i'm gonna take say I'm going to cut this out right here. So I'm taking this, I'm going to right click and I'm going to do layer via, via copy. And so what it did was is it took this piece right here and I copied it. Now I'm going to do a control T to get these transforms. Ooh. And I'm gonna hold down shift so that I get this. Now this is just a cheap way for me to get like the rest of the label. Um, so I'm holding down shift and doing this. Like I said, as long as you cover up the UV lines, it's all good. It doesn't matter if it bleeds out because what we're gonna see is right here. So this is my new layer. I'm double clicking to seal the deal. And I'm gonna take the old one that I made before and I'm gonna drag it on top, right? And oh, actually, sorry, there's one thing I didn't do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this layer that I had before. And just so we can see, it's this layer. And I'm going to cut this other part out. So I'm going to grab this tool right here, this square. And I'm just going to select this. And uh, kind of got out of there. Yeah. So now I'm going to right click, lay over your copy, hide this one. So now we have this label. And now I'm putting this right here. And now I have this one on top. Now let me turn the opacity up all the way. Eh. Looks strange, I guess. Mm, it definitely looks strange. Oh, no, it's because of this. All right, so I just turned up the opacity. Uh, so just so we can see, we have this is our label. This is our background. Like I said, I'm doing this very cheaply. But uh, I'll show you the whole point. All right, so I'm going to go to File, Save As. And uh, what was this? This is on my desktop. So I'm going to go to. Um, that was on my desktop. Oh, it's Photoshop. OK, so let me go to this JPEG Remy UV. Uh, I'm just typing JPEG behind it, even though I know it's JPEG. Click on OK. So now that it's saved, I'm back in Maya. And here's my bottle, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Maya Classic. I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to go to assign new material. I'm going to click on this Arnold AI standard surface. And then I'm going to go to over here where it says color and I'm going to click on this. And then I'm going to click on this one that says file, right? So I clicked on the little checkerboard. And if you don't see any of these, it's really just 2D textures, but files the one you want to get. So now that I have file, I click on this. And I go to my desktop and I get that file that I just made from Photoshop, All right? Now it's on here, but we can't see it, right? We have to do uh, just type in four for wireframe, five for solid, six for texture, right? So now we see this bottle with this texture on it. Now I'm just gonna select this 
and I'm going to, uh, oh, look what happened, right? I selected it and it selected every other uh, face that I didn't select. So you could manually select these faces if you want to, or it will you know, automatically do it like mine did. And you can right click and go assign new material, Arnold, as standard surface. And I'll just tame this to say glass. All right. So now I can click on this and now I can change the color. And I can also use this right here, this little eyedropper. Well, let me click on it again. Click on this eyedropper one time. I can also like go over here and choose this color. So that will work too. So this bottle, when I made it, it gave me a bunch of things like this, like poly UV tweak, poly projection. They gave me, uh, well, this is called construction history. To get rid of that, you hit this second button right here. So this one's center the pivot. Oh, now the pivot center. This one's delete destruction history. So we have our glass material and we have this, which is our label. Name it. Um, so yeah, so now when I select this, I have two different, um, this doesn't like to be selected. Yeah, here's my object. And if I click on the glass and I wanna change the color of the glass, I can do that. So now it's purple, drink. And now we have a label. See, it's the process. I mean, of course, make it make sense, you know, and not have your glass be like a different color. Well, you know, something wild, but really the whole lesson in the uh, texturing. So, um, yeah, I'd like for you all to do this with your bottles.